Hey everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and tonight I'm going to take a look at Avast 5 Beta 3. Um, it's going to be my first video for Avast 5, so there's so many people interested in it. Um, I'm not really interested in the free version, I'm more interested in the professional version. It sounds really awesome. On their blog, they kind of break down what each version does. Um, the professional version offers a sandbox, um, which basically anything you download inside your browser gets trapped in the sandbox and doesn't do any harm to your computer. And the cool thing is, is that it works in a 64-bit environment, which there are no sandboxes that I really know of. I've heard Zone Alarm kind of works in a 64-bit environment. Haven't really tested that out yet, but they're really rare. That would definitely be a unique um, product, and they say it right here, which we think is unique. It is unique. So I don't have that. I have the free version, and I've never been terribly um, happy with a vast free antivirus, but what I've learned lately is that all these free antiviruses, any antivirus by itself is pretty much only partly effective. You need to have something else to go along with it. That's why I was leaning towards the pro version, which is the vast free version with all kinds of other goodies in there, especially the sandbox. Anyway, back to um, the little demo I have set up here. I wanted to kind of show you the file size differences. I think they're almost the same. This is the old version of Avast and it's 39.9 megabytes and the new version is 38.5 and this is beta 3. This is not a final so you really can't come down on it not until it's out. But anyway let's go ahead and get started. I am uh, testing this out on Vista. It's an unactivated version of Vista, so uh, if I have to reboot for some reason, you may see something like this is not a genuine version of Vista. I'm not going to activate it. I don't plan to. It's just for a demo. I'm going to go ahead and go to full screen here. Okay. So this is the Avast installer. And as you can see, it says Avast free antivirus, and they have a neat little logo now. And I'm going to do a custom installation, and I am going to participate in the Avast community. You know, basically, you're sending them events. Um, if Avast catches something, you'll you'll send uh, the community an event saying well, what you caught and all this other stuff. So um, it's going to go ahead and install the C program files of you know AWIL software, Avast Five, blah, blah blah blah. You can go ahead and install whatever you want. You can do a custom installation and un select stuff, you know, deselect stuff or do a minimal. I'm just going to go with the typical which installs a file shield, a mail shield, a web shield, P2P shield, IM shield, network shield, and a behavior shield. My English, or my language is going to be English. It's the only thing I know how to speak. And it requires 51 megabytes of disk space. Go ahead and install it. I think, um, from what I remember, it installs really quickly. So it's been a long time since I made my last video. I've been busy with the holidays. I pretty much just vegged out and just played games and didn't do anything. Kind of stayed off the internet. I don't know. Just really relaxed. And then as soon as I got off my break, I was hit with a ton and a ton a ton of phone calls. It's like all the viruses came out of the woodwork and I've been going nonstop, crazy, crazy amounts of appointments. So I know I'm gone all day tomorrow and all day Sunday with appointments, so I wanted to get this video out tonight. And it's just the first of maybe two or three. I am running this in a virtual machine, so what you're seeing is um, a little bit slower than it would be on a normal computer. So that's the new um, icon for Avast. 
I really like it. It looks awesome. It's finishing the setup. The installation is successfully completed. Blah, blah, blah. Got a nice little new icon down there. It says, Welcome to Avast. You know, you successfully installed it. And at this point, um, <coughs> excuse me, I've also been sick for three weeks straight. Um, it starts doing its update. But let's go ahead and dive right into the interface. Wow, what an improvement. <laughs> Um, a vast five is just beautiful compared to four, which is sort of freaky looking. I always felt like I was operating a radio. Um, so anyway, let's go right into um, right into the settings. You can see this is beta three, by the way. If I click settings, basic settings, you want to show the tray, animate the tray while scanning. Updates are automatic. Uh, program updates. Ask me, you know, when an update is available. I'm not sure why you wouldn't do, wouldn't want to do automatic unless they have like a bug in it or something like that. Um, the auto update frequency is every 240 minutes. I suppose you could bring that down, but I don't know by how much. They may get kind of pissed if you bring it down too low. Uh, virus chest, this is your quarantine. Virus alerts. You can go ahead and email somebody uh, whenever you whenever you have a virus on your computer. So if you install this on your kid's computer or something like that, and you want to know if they get into something, you know, if they go online and all of a sudden a vast detects a virus, and you want to know, you know, when it happened, what virus it was, whatever, you can set up email alerts to email you at work or whatever so that you know what's going on um, you know if something's acting weird with your computer you know that there was a virus on it and uh, Avast emailed it to you. You can go ahead and exclude stuff always handy sometimes you just need to. Password you can go ahead and protect Avast again that's a great thing for kids because I deal with kids every day kids love to turn off antivirus because um, they always think it slows them down or bothers them but um, you can go ahead and protect a vast with the password and you know it's good uh, okay gaming mode silent gaming or uh, silent uh, slash gaming mode if you're playing games nothing worse than you know you're getting ready to snipe somebody and oh that's the new update screen and all of a sudden this screen pops up down here and uh, your screen starts flickering and just you know your game's done and you're killing your antivirus and turning it off and anyway you can go ahead and select these and suppress all that crap so that Avast does what it's supposed to do in the background without bothering you um, <coughs> status bar components monitored so it's gonna monitor all these components virus definition version program version Definition auto updates. You can choose your language. Sounds. Um, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. The new free version actually detects pups, potentially unwanted programs. Um, it, I should also say that it has built in heuristics now. And I don't know if there was really too much in the free version that was that different. It was the pro version that was awesome. Maintenance, you can delete logs, community, that's awesome. They that, that should really help out the Avast guys a lot by submitting events to them. And then troubleshooting. This is good right here. This is kind of a, something that I wouldn't think to click on, but actually has some great info, info in it. Um, enable rootkit scan on system startup. I think they're using the GMER uh, rootkit scanning capabilities. I think they bought those guys. Um, enable raw disk asset access uh, during boot time and uh, allow Vast to protect itself. That's huge, of course. Uh, a lot of the viruses I deal with, um, a lot of the malware, I should say, disable antivirus. I got two machines sitting right next to me that have that issue that I have to get to after this. 
Okay. Um, so you can do a quick scan, full system scan, scan your removable media, or select just a folder to scan. Boot time scan, they now have it right out here for you. You can select areas to scan or your entire computer. You can set your heuristic uh, sensitivity, scan for potentially unwanted programs, and unpack archive files, which I always find it kind of to be a waste every time. So, I never scan archives. I think if I did, I'd be sitting here forever. Um, anyway, you can go ahead and look at the individual shields. Uh, I never really do. I kind of just say, I hope you guys are all working, and I'm going to some place I shouldn't go to, because that's where I'm going next. So we've got Avast installed. It's been updated. And uh, let's go ahead and toss a few malicious things at it. I'm kind of curious to see how it does. Again, don't really care about the free version. I'm more interested in the pro version. I want that sandbox. Hopefully I can convince some of my clients to kind of go with something like that. Since so many of my clients are running 64-bit uh, OS. So, and sandboxy just doesn't work with that. So I'll be right back. I just need to kind of like minimize this and then pause this. Now this part of the video may take a while because um, I usually do 10 malicious URLs and some of the URLs never work. So I, I do go through like, you know, pausing and playing, pausing, playing, all that kind of stuff. So hang on with me here. I have a little exploit I'm going to throw against the vast really quick and see how it does. So that one didn't show up. And this is a Trojan. Let's see. Nah, no love there either. Alright, we got one. This is uh, supposedly a rogue from uh, sysprotector.com. I'm going to go ahead and save this to my desktop instead of running it. Go ahead and hit run. It's an unidentified program from an unidentified publisher. Every time I see unidentified publisher, I mean, I would just steer clear of those. So, it looks like it's going through. Yeah, it installed fine. So there's the rogue antivirus down there. Uh, virus protection is off. Yeah, right. So let's go ahead and take that file that Avast just missed. And um, let's see how many other people know about it. We're going to go to Virus Total, and this site uses almost every virus engine out there, antivirus engine out there, um, to scan a piece of malware and see if it is um, actually malicious or not. So let's go ahead and send it. So you can see it's already been detected. So let's show the last report. Somebody's already tried to scan it. Now let's go full screen here. All right. So, F Secure detects it. Kaspersky does. McAfee does. McAfee Artemis. Microsoft. Security Essentials does. Panda does. Prevex and Sophos. And then something called Cat Quick Heal. I've never heard of that. So people that miss it are AVG, Avast, Antivir, A Squared. Komodo, lots of people miss it. So, as you can tell, just by looking at that list, it's kind of hard to detect those things. But nevertheless, Avast missed this one. 
So let's go for another one here. 